In this video, uh, we're going to uh, solve this linear equation, and uh, again, we have two different unknowns. What's different about this equation, though, is that this time you have unknowns on either side of your equal sign. In the past, all of our unknowns were congregating on one side of the equal sign, and on the other side of the equal sign, we just had a constant term. So this looks a little different here. And what are we going to do? Well, remember, there's two steps that we, that we use a lot in solving these linear equations. That is distribution, and the other one is combining like terms, okay? It all comes down to distribution and combining like terms. If you can do these two things, you are in great shape for weeks and weeks, okay? So, first step, what do we do? We distribute, okay? Let's distribute across these pesky uh, parentheses here. So, 3 times t and 3 times 9. 3 times t is going to give us 3t. 3 times 9 is going to give us 27, and let's keep that plus there, okay? Uh, and that equals t plus 11. We'll keep that there. Now, remember, the one most important rule of algebra is whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must also do it to the other side of the equation. So when I look at this, I think to myself, I got too many t's up on the board here, okay? I got to get rid of some of these t's. How do I do that? By subtracting. I'm going to subtract a t right here. And I'm going to subtract a t right here. Okay, now I want you all to notice, I didn't try to take the t from the 27, okay? I didn't try to take the t from the 11. Why not? Because these are constant terms. They're not t terms, they're constant terms. I can subtract t minus t, no problem. That's when you subtract something from itself, you get zero. And I can subtract 3t minus t. Think of this as 3t's, and this is 1t. You take 1t from 3t's, and you are left with... 2t's. So I get 2t, don't forget your plus 27. And over here I get 0 plus 11, which I can just call 11. Two-step equation. We know how to do these. What's happening to t? It's being multiplied by 2, then adding 27. So how do we uh, solve this? We subtract 27, then we divide by 2. Let's start by subtracting 27. 2t plus 27 minus 27 gives us 2t. 11 minus 27, little number minus big number gives us negative number, and 27 minus 11 is 16. So 2 times t is negative 16. I'm just going to divide both sides by 2, because that undoes the multiplication, and we get t equals negative 16 divided by 2, which is negative 8. Is it right? I don't know. Let's plug it in. Okay? Let's take this negative 8, and let's replace our t's, both of our t's with negative 8. So that's going to get me 3 times negative 8 plus 9 equals negative 8 plus 11. Well, negative 8 plus 9, that's just 1, and 3 times 1 is just 3. And negative 8 plus 11, also 3. I say yes, that works just fine. 